Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. After our previous video with the Extreme Off-Roader, this time the Audi RSQ e-tron is back with an even more radical upgrade. We kept the Bovis 3.0 Pro unit but swapped out the LEGO motors for something much more powerful. This is actually a package you can buy on Bovis.com, it is listed as the 42160 motorization kit. You can buy it with or without the set itself. Here's what the package looks like. Two boxes, one with the Bovis 3.0 Pro unit and another one with the two Bovis motors. Oh, and the instructions for the modification are also available for free on the website, you go here and you can download the full PDF instructions. No extra parts are needed besides the motorization kit. So I built this machine following these instructions. The custom stickers were made as always by the talented forward sticker, you can find the link in the description. The build itself is not super complicated, either each motor drives the front and rear axle independently, or you can also couple the motors with this axle for a smoother performance. I'm sure you want to see the speed difference between this version and the one from the last video with the original motors, well, here's a little test for you, I think the upgrade is pretty visible. But, and I'm sure someone is already typing this question, is this upgrade really worth the money? The Bovis unit and the two motors cost 240 euros, actually only 227 if you use my coupon code RB5, and last week you could get the Audi set at Amazon for 100 euros, I'm almost certain there will be similar Black Friday deals again, so that would be about 330 euros in total. Well, this is the Truxa Slash, a 110 scale RC short course truck. There are many different editions. This is the two wheel drive version in a ready to run package with battery and charger included. You can buy this package in Europe for around 300 euros, might be cheaper in the US, both directly from Traxxas. Yeah, the scale is a bit different when we compare these two guys. The Slash isn't particularly complicated inside, but it's massive, durable, with a nice bouncy suspension. I think it's time for these two to race each other. Wanna bet on who's going to win? So it's no surprise, although the upgraded Audi looks much faster than its predecessor, the Slash just destroyed that performance. I mean, the LEGO car is surprisingly sturdy by the way, nothing fell off while driving, but this thing is in a whole different level, and it's even cheaper. So I know, LEGO RC sucks, it makes no sense, it's weak, slow, and so on and so forth. The thing is, they have a completely different purpose. I mean, the Slash also has tons of official and third-party upgrade options, you can make really great mods, this body for example is my favorite, I will have to get it, there is even a drag version, but every single mod requires custom parts you have to buy, specifically for what you want to do. The LEGO set on the other hand is made up of generic LEGO Technic parts, so you can really build whatever you feel like, even if you limit yourself to the parts in this set. I'm sure you know Rebricable, but if not, I recommend you try it. You open the page, find the set, and here are some cool alternative builds. You want a trophy truck, a dirt bug, or a Batmobile. You can build all of them with this set, and with a few extra parts there are even more possibilities. I'm sure there will be more alternatives to come, as this set is still relatively new. Grower recently announced the Warthog alternate build, there will be instructions for that soon as well. And you can upgrade them all with the Bovis unit if you want more power. You won't be able to go as fast as the Slash, obviously, but knowing the durability of this plastic, maybe it is better this way. So, I think LEGO and real RC can peacefully coexist. 
There is no reason to pick sides, I like driving this model around, jumping and smashing it into things, and I also like tinkering with LEGO, motorizing sets or trying out the next cool alternate build. Please let me know your thoughts folks, if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications because there will be more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye!